Hey guys, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss about type of movements occur in gastrulation. In our previous video, we were discussing about the formation of gastrula by the process of gastrulation. So, let's get started. So, the first cell movement is known as invagination. Uh, in invagination, an embryo get folded inside and form a pot like or U-shaped structure here. Right, so we take an example of a balloon. Right, so whenever we pop balloon here, so uh, this part get invaginate here. We push a pressure from the upside and uh, it will move in the downward position and uh, it it will get inside. Right, so this type of uh, this type of formation of U-shaped or post-like structure is known as invagination. Right. It, it occurs in the sea urchin endoderm in sea urchin endoderm layer right and the second is second is uh, involution second second is involution in this case what happens here uh, suppose we have a ball right and we press the uh, ball so uh, so much in, in the inside so much pressure so it 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 get flattens over other layer right so uh, as we this is the ball and we push the ball from inside upward to the inside and the one layer is flattened over other layer Right, so this kind of uh, cell movements is known as involution and it occurs in amphibian mesoderm. Right, the next type of cell movements is known as ingression. Ingression means to enter. When the individual cell is uh, enter inside the embryo, uh, from the uh, outer layer it will when it will get inside the embryo is known as ingression right so the migration of individual cell into the embryo is known as ingression here we uh, we take example here is C urchin mesoderm right uh, the fourth type of cell movements is known as delamination in case of delamination uh, what happens here is when the one layer gets split into two layer right the, when, when one uh, germ layer gets split into two layer it is known as delamination for example words and mammalian hypoblast formation the fifth type of cell, cell movement is known as epiboli when the expansion of one when one layer over another layer right so this this is known as epiboli when this is first layer and the other layer is expanding on first layer is known as epiboli Right. This type of uh, this type of cell movements occur in ectoderm in case of amphibians. Right. So this is all about the cell movements. Thank you.